Biden is cutting your Medicare benefits. And that, my friends, is a fact. It's what the Democrats always do. They always, they always project, you're racist. You're the this guy or that guy. You're the problem. And yet they're the ones cutting Medicare benefits. Uh, of course, they're the biggest racists there are. And yet they always project they're good at it. And of course, Republicans, we know it's not me. Repu you just need to fight back, Republicans. It's crazy. Anyway, this is just a fact, man. This is from MSN News, of all places. New Medicare Advantage cuts threaten seniors' benefits. I'm not saying that. I'm just reporting on what MSN News is saying because of Sniffy Joe and his band of freaking commies out there. Crazy. Right here. Under the Biden administration's latest adjustments, Medicare Advantage plans will see a slight base payment cut of 16 base of 0.16% next year, igniting concerns or potential reductions for supplemental benefits for seniors. Here's Rick Scott. He says the decision could uh, translate tangible decreases in health care coverage for those reliant on these plans, about 400 bucks a year. Oh, but Josh, 400 bucks a year is no big deal. That's a cut. That's a cut. You're the one blaming the Republicans for this. Oh my, but you guys are doing it. You guys signed the tax increase in 1993 on Social Security. You guys also had Biden uh, supported the tax increase on Social Security in 1983. The Republicans were in charge in this, the presidency in 1983. The Democrats were in charge in Congress in 1983. The Democrats passed the legislation. Reagan signed it in 1983. The Democrats supported Social Security hikes, i.e. benefit reductions. In 1993, it was Clinton and major majorities for Democrats in the House and Senate. They did it. It wasn't the Republicans. So we've had, what, two cases of Social Security increases, of tax increases on Social Security. Two cases. And there's executive branch and two legislative, house, legislative houses. So six of those places, five were controlled by the Democrats. It's just, it's, it's freaking insane. And they, I see it in my comments all the time. Republicans want to cut Social Security. It's just it's so freaking stupid. It gets so old. That's why I'm just so over politics. I just hate. My guy's in office. Things are great. My guy's on office. Things are bad. I'm just like, it's it's just dumb, man. I just wish Republicans had the freaking guts to fight back. But they don't. The Medicare Advantage cuts will result in 2.8 million Florida seniors currently enrolled in Medicare Advantage. Uh, many of them who lived on a fixed income to pay an extra $400 a year, said Rick Scott. So 100%, man. Democrats don't give a damn about their Floridians on, on Medicare Advantage, says Rick Scott. There you go. There you go. Uh, the decision to adjust Medicare Advantage payments comes from the center at CMS, ongoing retirement of the risk adjustment coding system. Initiated last year, the refinements are set to ensure that payments to MA plans more accurately reflect the health status of their enrollees. Hmm, interesting. The changes introduced by the Biden administration are designed to ensure a more prudent allocation of taxpayer funds. Okay, check this out, though, because I laughed at this. It's, it's so stupid. According to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the adjustments are aimed at enhancing health equity, providing more person-centered care, and ensuring the program's sustainability. They just want more equity. And what are they going to do? They're going to you know, provide for transgender stuff. I don't know what the hell they're going to if you want all that stuff, I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm saying pay for yourself. Pay for yourself. My goodness. If you want to do elective care, and what I'm saying, I'm really talking about elective care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about elective care where I can schedule an appointment. I'm talking real elective care. I want to become something else. I want to get uh, you know, skin graft, whatever the other called. You know what I'm saying? If it doesn't advance in terms of keeping you alive, you should pay for it yourself. I want, you know, make my skin look like I was 25 years old. Pay for it yourself. I want to have stuff chopped off. Pay for it yourself. I'm at, uh, let's just keep going. Um, as industry adjusts, the oh, look, even Finney does like cutting. Hey, hey we got this big dog over there. We just have these two huge, like, polar bear looking dogs. I don't know what kind of dogs they are. But they look literally like polar bears. They're so freaking cute, man. And they sit there in their window when I take my dog's walk, you just see his big face, a black nose, and just... <laughs> and then he's getting... <laughs> and then Pablo. So one time I was walking Pablo, and they're both the dogs, I think it's Lola and Harvey are their names, and uh, they're sitting on their front porch, and then Pablo comes by, he sees him, I'm walking Pablo, and Pablo's like, woof, woof, like barking at him, and, and Lola comes flying, it's just the cutest, like, just it completely not harmful at all and Pablo like attacks Lola 
And well, Pablo's 15 pounds. So Lola's probably 120 pounds. Uh, with uh, Soaking wet, probably 200 pounds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like attacks. Uh, I said, Pablo, Lola's going to eat you. Lola's poops are bigger than you, Pablo. Oh, my goodness. It was so funny. I was like, Pablo. And then Lola's just like, get out of here, man. It's just, oh, my goodness. All right, anyway, so let's read this right here, too. Uh, Medicare Advantage plans, uh, seniors could lose the 30 to 50 bucks a month in value. What I'm saying. I mean, seniors account for over a half of Medicare Advantage plans. They seem to lose, may lose up to 400 bucks to 500, 600 bucks a year. That, that's just the facts, my friends. But they got to do it to keep it solvent. Ah, so when the Republicans cut, we got to do it to keep it solvent. All right, but they never do that. It's just, I just, I hate politics so much. I hate politics so much. But, because one side plays the game and one side doesn't. The side that doesn't play the game is the Republican Party. It'd be nice. But, I, hey, I appreciate Rick Scott going on the offensive. So, good stuff. All right, God bless.